What is going on, guys? Welcome back to DS Asylum. I'm your order, Dimitri Shine, and I'm here with Hype Killer Subaki. <laughs> I don't know what he let, let me bring him a bit closer. I don't know what he did, but he can explain himself later. So we no, I burned my finger on a freaking chicken tender out the air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So obviously, as you can see, we got the download DBZ space for the new units. We are going to go over Gohan first since he's the new shiny uh, fourth LF in two months. Because of course he is, why not? We're just going to take a look at him at two stars, as that's what most people would have him at if they pulled him at all. <clears throat> so we got 2.03 million health. I mean, that's fine, whatever. 198,000 strike attacks. Some fucking melee type. 189,000 blast attack, 140,000 strike defense, and 137 blast defense. Wow, his stats suck. <laughs> his stats straight suck. <laughs> He's got bad critical and okay key restore speed. So, he was meant to be ran with Bardock all along. So, all right, main ability. Draw the Ultimate Arts Explosive Dance next. They named his one-armed Kamehameha Explosive Dance. Yeah, man, we're going to be dancing on the battlefield, kicking android ass. Restore his own key by 50. Gain attribute upgrade minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut effects for 10 timer counts. Seal enemies special move and special arts. The sealed arts cannot be used for 10 timer counts. I thank you, Tapion. You what? <laughs> the following effects occur when this character enters the battle. Also, in terms of, of a uh, main ability, it's fine. Uh... Yeah, it, it's it's Tapion with sustain with minus sustained damage cut and an ultimate. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> Battle for Hope. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield: twenty five percent the damage inflicted by allies for fifteen timer counts. So essentially, he gives himself twenty five percent the damage inflicted, and then you have to uh, the second you're you're able to switch out, you have to immediately switch him out for five counts of twenty five percent damage. All right. 45% damage inflicted cannot be canceled up to 90%. So he gets that twice. Increases own arts card draw speed by one level cannot be stacked. Also applies the following effects to self. If there is a defeated battle member, draw a special arts card next activates twice. Nullify unfavorable element factors for 15 time accounts activates twice. Which means he's the first unit to ever be able to nullify element factor twice. Unbreakable will. The following effects occur when changing cover. Nullify enemies blast arts attacks. Wait, isn't that the same name as the yellow, uh, the original yellow future Gohan's move? Or I have no like idea. The green card or one of his uniques or something. I have no idea. But it seems as Gohan is now the third unit to ever have a blast card cover change. The only other two are Red Bardock, who was the first, and then Vegito Blue. Obviously, UI Goku can do it, but his is for both strike and blast, not just blast. So, it, it is different. Following effects occur after enemy attack is over. 25% damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts. So, he gives a better buff when he's hit than he does when he swaps in. Reduced damage received by 30% cannot be canceled. Activates once. All right. Restore own health by 40% once it reaches zero. So that's his... 40%? This... This bastard gets damn near half his health back with his endurance. Jiren would like to say no. <sighs> All right, then. Strike card. Restores Vanishing Gauge by 10% upon activation. Alright. Kamehameha deals massive impact damage. Plus 20% the damage inflicted for 15 timer counts upon activation. Seals enemy strike, ar strike arts on hit. The sealed arts cannot be used for 5 timer counts. Bro. So he, he's the Legends Limited version of Android 18. Got it. 
Well, oh. technically, Vados is the one that seals with her uh, super, but you know what I mean. His green card restores own key by 50. Unnecessary. Nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 20 counts. Reduce next damage received by 30%. Cannot be stacked. This applies until enemy combo is finished. 20% of damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Why is his green card doing so much? Might as well just let it refill his hand at that point. Just give it everything. Yeah, Explosive dance deals massive impact damage. The following effects occur upon activation. 40% to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts. Nullifies you enemies. Might as well just give him some, uh, supreme. N it nullifies endurance and an additional 20% to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts if own remaining health is 50% or lower. Blast armor when charging forward. Hello, Legends Road Goku. He holds a strike card that has 100% chance to seal one enemy card that cannot be used for five timer counts. And then his six star Z ability is 32% to future or hybrid Saiyan strike attack and defense and 15% if uh, to blast defense if they are both of those tags. So there's that. <clears throat> A lot of noise you making over there. Who, me? Yeah. It's the dogs. I'm still in the kitchen. So, he seems good. He definitely seems good. He seems better than Gogeta, at least. <laughs> and instead of getting cocked by LF Gohan, he can work alongside LF Gohan. I mean, he still gets cocked by Gohan if he's on the other end of it, but yeah. <laughs> No amount of element factor nullification is going to save you from him. But he seems fine. I don't really care that much about Gohan. I, I really don't. <laughs> Android 21. You know so me. I'm the hybrid boy over here. We're going to look at her at three stars, I suppose. The stats don't change from two stars, but whatever. Hot! Damn! Those stats are Horrible. Hundred and eighty eight thousand strike attack, hundred and ninety nine thousand blast attack, hundred and twenty eight thousand strike defense, hundred and thirty one thousand blast defense. Interesting. Holy tits, those stats are bad. One point nine eight million health. She's got okay key restore speed and bad critical. Please forgive me. Draw the ultimate arts excellent buffet next. Restore his own health by 25% and key by 60. Increases own arts card. Increases own arts card draw speed level by, by one for 30 timer counts. Plus one to amount special cover change can be used. She has a special cover change. Would have been nice if you showed that in the Twitter preview, bastards. All right. Readiness for battle. Applies the following effects itself when this character I'm enters ready. the battlefield. Changes strike arts to blast arts. 60% to damage inflicted cannot be stacked. Reduce damage received by 30% for 15 timer accounts. Minus 5 to blast arts cost. So that's why her stats are such shit. <laughs> 10% wow. to blast damage inflicted every time every time another battle member is hit with a strike, blast, or special move arts attack up to 50%. So once someone gets hit at all five times, she enters the battlefield with 90% blast damage and 60% overall damage. That, oh, shit. Okay, I'm more scared of seeing someone I love get hurt. Receive zero damage when changing cover for the first time. Instant transmission! Yup. Applies the following effects itself when at least one allied character is defeated. Plus 30% the damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Applies attribute upgrade. Shortens substitution count by two. Cannot be cancelled. So she's just... Instantly just shortens her sub count by two. Okay. Blast uh, strike arts normal blast starts 15% to special move damage inflicted for 15 timer counts upon activation. C 
Kamehameha deals major impact damage. Plus 20% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Solar Flare. Inflicts enemy with flash. Draw a special move arts next. Activates twice. Restore own key by 50. 15% damage inflicted by allies for 20 timer counts. Excellent Buffet. Deals massive impact damage. The following effects occur according to the number of battle members upon activation. It's literally the exact same thing as Merge Zamasu. It, with the exact same multipliers, I think. The only difference is if there are two or one battle members remaining, she inflicts no switching. So it goes 40, 50, 70, and on 50 and 70, she inflicts no switching. She holds a blast card that restores key by five when used. Then her six star Z ability is 30% to tag Android or tag regeneration, strike and blast attack, and plus 15% to girls blast defense. Not gonna lie. 21 honestly seems better than Gohan. <laughs> and you were so worried that she was just going to be, you know... I wasn't worried she was going to be bad. I knew she was going to be good. They had to make her good. There was no way they were going to release her and expect anyone to sum to be even want to summon for her if she wasn't, like, amazing. The problem is she's still not better than 16 or good boo. <laughs> is she better than Kefla? Uh, all right, you know what? Let's take a look at her at 10 stars because that's what my Kefla is at. Nah, Kefla's just straight got better stats than her at 10 stars. But I suppose 21 can do more damage? Maybe? She's got better damage buffs? I don't know. I, I wouldn't... I, I honestly don't know... I honestly don't know if she would be better than Kefla. <laughs> so annoying. I'm baking cookies now. Sorry. What the hell? But the real question that needs to be answered, right? Well, first, let's just go over to summons. Let's actually take a look at this banner if we can. All right. So it's going to be up for 30 days. Ah! It's the last step up, but they but they put the free multi back. I mean, they did say even better rewards than the last one. It's literally just the last banner with the free summon. All right. The LFs on it are Vegito Blue, Piccolo, Super Vegito, which scares me. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and LF Gohan, who has a 0.5 rate, just like Broly and Gogeta. But the new 21 still only has a 1% pull rate, just like all the other featured Sparkings. To hell with you. Should you summon on this banner? Well, first, let's take a look at the events to see if you even can summon on this banner. So we've got Limit Break, Multi-Z Power Battle. So that's 500 Multi-Z Power. we got the Sparking Scout Battle, which is kind of whatever. The Extreme Clash Raid, which is going to give us 1,000 Crystals, guaranteed. And then 21 Zenkai, which will give us 1,000 Crystals. And that's it. That's it. That, that's, that's, every, that's all the new events. All right, let's summon. All right, let's get going. All right, everybody. Summon. So I hope everyone enjoys summoning with your 2,000 Crystals. <laughs> Yeah, man, you're about to go through the whole rotation. Trust me, you're going to love what you pull. <sighs> Though, speaking of Zenkai 21, we did not forget about her. We saved her for last, if I could ever find her. How low is this bitch's power level? Jesus, all the way down here. All right, Zenkai, we're going to look at her at 14 stars since she's free. So we got 2.7 million health, 262,000 strike attack, 253,000 blast attack, 187,000 on both defenses. Pretty good. Pretty good stats. No, nothing overwhelming, but pretty good. Main ability, 30% to damage inflicted cannot be canceled. Okay. Reduced damage received by 20%. Applies attribute upgrade minus 30% to enemy sustained damage cut effects to allies for 60 timer counts. So all they did was up the damage by 10% and make it permanent. That, 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 and uh, they gave her some reduced damage. All right. 
Destructive Android. 20% the damage inflicted by allies. That's literally the same. Restores ally key by 25 when this character switches to standby. Okay. Applies Also applies the following effects to allies depending on their tags. Android minus 20 to special move cost. That's the same. Regen. All, all of that is the same. Okay. Brilliant minds. Uh, they, so... Applies the following effects to enemy every time this character uh, uses an arts card. Inflicts attribute downgrade plus 15% to damage received for 20 timer counts. And minus 20% to health restoration for 20 timer counts. So they upped it by 5 timer counts and upped the health restoration by 5%. Alright, looking at the new uniques. Applies the following effects to allies when this character is defeated. Restore health by 20%. Applies buff effect. Nullify abnormal conditions once. Increases dragon balls by 2 pretty whatever and the final one the fo the following effects occur from battle start for 60 timer counts 20 percent to special move damage inflicted by allied tag android cannot be canceled plus 15 percent damage inflicted by allied tag regeneration cannot be canceled increases own arts card draw speed level by one cannot be canceled damn her kit sucks <laughs> ha damn this is bad she literally can only be run with another 21. She is completely incapable of being run with anything but herself. That is ridiculous. Her super attack uh, deals major explode damage, destroy that they didn't change that at all. Applies the following of uh, her green card applies the following effects to self on hit. Randomly draws one new card, restores key by 40, which is all what I asked for. Minus 5 to strike and blast arts cost 15 counts. They did what I asked, what we all asked them to. They didn't give it blast armor, unfortunately, though. And then she does blue android, but has the Legends Road effect where it's a lower percentage for some stupid ass reason. You know. Probably she's free. Broly does the same thing. I know, and it's dumb. The reason why everyone is okay with Legends Road units having the lower percentages is because they're buffing the entire tag. She's not buffing the whole tag. She doesn't need to have a lowered percentage. All you're doing is hurting her. <laughs> Whatever. Should you Zenkai her? Yes, because she's the only fucking blue option on all three of her teams. You have to Zenkai her. She's not. She doesn't really even seem all that great as a support, which is what she's supposed to be. But you don't really have a choice in the matter if you want to run any of her teams. So yeah, you should Zenkai her. On her own, she looks fine. On, on her own, she looks fine. She's got card draw speed for 60 counts. Um, she, she does technically get all of these buffs because she has all those tags. If you can manage to switch her out faster... Like, on her own, she's a good unit. As a support, wow, she's, she's, a, she's a terrible support. I, I would venture to say she's the worst support in the game because she, own, she realistically only supports one unit. <laughs> Realistic, like, she is the best support in Dragon Ball Legends history for 21, but for everyone else... She's probably the worst support ever. All around me on familiar faces. Whatever, man. So, in terms of support, you're probably still just going to run Vados on the female team because you're not going to use this bitch for support because she supports no one but herself. <clears throat> so... Between only getting 2,000 crystals th throughout all the events that are currently being released, you're not even going to be able to summon on this damn step up. You can do step one and two with all of the crystals that you can grind. And one of them, what 1,000 of that, you're not even, you, realistically, you probably won't get immediately. Because there's no way that most people are going to finish all of 21's missions within an hour. It, it's just not going to happen. I mean, you gotta wait for the uh, raid crystals too. Well, if they do it like they did last time, then you can them. just grind them. It won't take that long. You can just grind the metals and then grab the crystals. It, 
wouldn't take that long if they do it the same as the last raid. So they essentially, should do, hmm. They should do an Android twenty one fifty battle event where you fight the the support one, then you fight the good one, then you fight the evil one. See, that would make too much sense. Let's take a look at the ticket banner and see. Yeah, let's take a look at this ticket banner. Okay, so the tickets work the same way they did on Broly and Gogeta. One ticket gives you one GSP. Ten tickets give you a full multi of them. And Gohan still only has a 0.5 and 21 still only has a 1%. That's the only downside to this, to this type of ticket banner. I love the fact that you can get a GSP for one ticket. I hate the fact that they don't raise the rates of the new units like they used to, though. Or anything. Nothing is raised. Usually on a GSP, <clears throat> the rates of everything is increased. But it's the general pool units that have a 300% increased rate on this banner. They go from 0.08% to 3.08%. <clears throat> it's so ridiculous. All in all, this update looks horrible. 21, the, gr the green 21 is weirdly enough probably the best unit here. With LF Gohan being a close second and Zenkai 21, she's going to be good. By herself. <laughs> But as a support, they might as well just change the, the, the tag name. They might as well. Because, she again, she essentially only supports one fucking unit. So if you're not running a full 21 team, you can't rely on her to support your team. Especially if you're running her on androids. If you don't have a blue card in your hand, she's actually worthless. <laughs> Yes, everyone can take advantage of the constant debuffs that she gives the opponent when she uses an arts card. But guess what? All your opponent has to do is switch out and all of those things are basically gone. <laughs> I don't know. Also, didn't... Did, oh, wait. No, never mind. I'm, I'm being stupid. Um. So, yeah. that That's pretty much it for oh, this I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> what just happened I was walking back into my room and Super Monkey Ball was about to start playing I didn't want to get you copyrighted <laughs> uh, this, up siento mucho. This, this update looks horrible you're only going to be able to grind 2000 crystals so I mean, good luck. Let let's hope let's hope we can all pull twenty one on step fucking one, or Gohan look, if that's who you're after. Look, all I'm hearing is dual links content on my channel soon. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna promote yourself, I. Right. Hey man, it wouldn't be one of your videos if I didn't. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Um. Let me know what you guys think of this update and the characters and whatnot. And because I feel like I've been talking for a long time, I'm going to just get out of here. So, uh, peace.